Welcome to the Quotes Motivation Channel. Enjoy the video. Do subscribe our channel. 3 Rules for Developing a Warrior Mindset A warrior is completely focused, disciplined, and aggressive not out of selfishness, but on behalf of others. In your situation, your president is your client, your boss, or your customers. Every general has a president to whom they must answer. When you go to work, they are the nation you represent, and if you want your nation to triumph, you must be aware of these three laws of war. Rule 1, only move when it benefits you. If it is to your advantage, make a forward move, if not, stay where you are. A kingdom that has once been destroyed can never come again into being, nor can the dead ever be brought back to life. Sun Tzu Every action has some risk. You invite the unknown into your life by switching jobs, investing money in a new venture, or even launching a new product or service for your current company. Before making any move in life, write down the pros and cons. Instead of making a short mental checklist, put them in writing. Avoid taking action if the odds are not clearly in your favor. It has to do with discipline. It's unwise to take a chance on anything just because you find it intriguing rather than because you understand the benefit it will bring you. Your excitement will wane as challenges present themselves, which they unavoidably will, and you'll struggle to retain the discipline needed to keep going. Ultimately, you'll fail. Imagine that the advantages far outweighed the drawbacks. After six months, you're still working 80-hour weeks, but you have a goal you're committed to, and you're organized in the way you do your work. Your life has the potential to be so much more at the end of this, and that ignites a fire within of you. You have a clear vision of success and are prepared to conquer any obstacles in your path to achieve it. It's a warrior mentality. Rule 2, Know What Unlocks Your Beast Imagine your mind had an odometer that measured how, in the zone, you were. We all have periods of time where we're close to our top speed thinking sharply, moving quickly, completely focused. On the task at hand. Marshawn Lynch, the famous Seattle Seahawks running back calls this, beast mode. To be a warrior, you need to figure out what triggers your beast mode, and make it part of your routine. This is very much about my body for me. I get out of bed every morning at 5.15, take an icy bath, and get in. After spending at least an hour at the gym, I take a shower, a sauna, and then I leave for work. When my body is exerting itself to that extent, I am confident that I have at least 6 to 8 hours of beast mode left in me. All day long, the endorphin surge keeps me going. Some people's beasts are unlocked by meditation. It might be something different for you. It's crucial that you identify it and organize it so that you can perform at your best every day. Every warrior has a pre-battle ritual they adhere to, and when you discover yours, you increase your chances of succeeding. Rule 3, Commit to your objective without shame. No effective military campaign starts out with an undefined goal. We aim to normally win more battles than we lose, no general declares. To set goals, you need a distinct picture of success. The majority of individuals are indeed intuitively aware of this, but they are hesitant to dedicate themselves to their goals with such fervor. They fear being judged by others and being branded as someone who takes himself too seriously. Take a moment to picture a Navy SEAL lowering their intensity because someone deemed it inappropriate. You must take two actions. 1. Recognize that essential figures in your life cannot be those who criticize your aspirations and attention. 2. Schedule times when you will be completely focused on your work. Do you believe that troops use FaceTime calls while in battle? When they are involved, they are totally involved. Nothing keeps them off task.
that same degree of mental dedication is required of you. Your stakes are too high to be anything but a warrior. It all boils down to how seriously you take your relationships. Your relationships with your family, clients, rival businesses, and yourself. Your life might be destroyed if any of these relationships fail. If you don't give any of these connections adequate priority, your entire life might be destroyed. I don't mean that in a hyperbolic way. Then, the only thing between you and being a warrior is your commitment. So commit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down best part of the video. Don't miss any opportunity to see our next video. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.